Hi, welcome everyone, I'm Bernie. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use distributed ledger technology to accept payments from consumers. Let's imagine you're selling luxury watches online. You accept cryptocurrency payments through an integration with your payment partner. In this case, that's us, BVNK. We process the cryptocurrency for you and settle you in your preferred currency, euros. So let's get started. First, your customer adds a watch to their basket. They select to pay in cryptocurrency and they're taken to a special payment flow that's managed by BVNK. So far, so good. In the background, your business requests a payment link from BVNK via an API. They choose the currency they want to pay in, let's say the USDC. We return the payment link and you display it to your customer. This is what they will see. How much crypto they need to send and of course, the wallet address they need to send it to. Now. Your customer will need to open their wallet and make the payment. Providers like BVNK have integrations with popular wallets, which makes this part of the journey easier. Your customer has now connected to their wallet from checkout and click to pay. Next, let's flick over to the Ethereum blockchain to see what's happening there. Imagine the blockchain as a large digital ledger recording all payments. When you initiate a payment, a node, which is a computer, processes your request much like a mailman handles your post. In Ethereum, Validators, similar to accountants, verify payment details and document them on the block, similar to a page in our ledger. Other nodes review this block for accuracy before adding it to the blockchain. Once enough nodes, about 12, have confirmed the block within approximately 5 minutes, BVNK receives the payment. At this point, we screen the payment to make sure it's not coming from an address connected to financial crime. More on that in Chapter 3. Then we credit your account in euros, minus processing fees. You show your customer that the payment has been successful. And hooray, they've paid for their watch in crypto and you've received the money in euros. And that's it. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to check out the other videos in our DLT Essential series to learn more about use cases, benefits and how you can test out this technology safely. See you in the next video.